What is up everybody? I haven't really done a thrifting vlog in a while, so I thought I might as well hit up a couple thrift stores. So I've been uh, striking out on thrift stores when it comes to Blu-rays. Obviously DVDs are a dime a dozen, but you know, I'll keep my fingers crossed to see because I think a lot of people don't really want to donate Blu-rays. They have this perceived value for them. So usually they try to sell them through like, um, like garage sales or you know facebook marketplace so hopefully we'll be able to find some good titles on blu-ray because i have been able to find some in the past months but the f past two months or so I i've been really striking out on thrifting so let's hope we can find something cool all right first stop of the day value village the village of value we haven't, I haven't, we haven't been to this one in a while because i just been hating value village because they get free stuff and yet they upcharge this shit this is the, my, one of the most expensive uh, Blu-rays. I think it's like $5.99 a Blu-ray, so even though that might not be the worst price, but dude, for used free stuff, I've gotten 4Ks for 10 bucks. Well, they, so. do buy, they do buy stuff. Yeah, but Blu-rays, I don't think so. Not these. Maybe lots or something, but who knows. But hey, in 40 years, we can save. I'll even open. Alright, right, here we are. Uh, L.A. Noir. Oh, look at this, the Grudge. This, oh, I shouldn't have. A sealed copy of the Grudge 2. No way out. That's funny. Those are all the DVDs here. Yeah, PS4 games. Isn't that crazy? They got uh, Avatar the Game. That's funny. Wow, Rock of Ages, are you kidding me? Ooh, lenticular slips. Oh, there you go. Oh, no. Moneyball. Still sealed. That's funny. Still sealed as well. Why have sealed stuff before? I know. This is getting a 4K. Why are you Disney World? <laughs> Dilbert, yeah, I found two things. Then I found uh, David Cronenberg's The Fly. Now we're gonna actually uh, check it out, see if they're actually inside of it. Now we're looking at the toy section, because you never know what you might find. Uh, my holy grail is to find those, those Sam Raimi Spider-Man figures that came out when I was a kid, so that would be mine, but uh, these are definitely better than the other sections. Mostly it's just like naked uh, Barbie dolls and stuff like that. But this one had a few things. Like this had a uh, uh, Revenge of the Sith Anakin Skywalker. And it has an R2-D2 here. But they're all out of scale. This one's too small. This one's too large. So I have to pass on it. And we have a coupon. It's like if you spend 25 bucks, you get $10 off. I have I have 16 bucks here. But not, not $25. So we're still looking around to see if we can fill up that number, you know? Yeah, damn it. But yeah, this is just a cesspool of unwanted toys. I like to sometimes think, like, what the story is behind this. Like, I wonder what the child did with this. And then they grew up and then... Like, this is still sealed. No one even removed it from the packaging. Only at Target. Oh, like it's a Target exclusive. Oh, oh, the resale value. Oh. Yeah, uh, Target exclusive. $10. Holy shit. Uh, you done? Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. It's pretty cloudy outside. What do you think, Allie? Pretty gloomy. It's pretty early though. It's like, what, 10.30? Yeah, we're out of the first Value Village. Pretty decent. Ended up spending like, what, four bucks per Blu-ray? Like, I think I got six Blu-rays or something for 20 bucks in total. So five, 10, 20, 25, something like that. Anyways, so uh, off. now we're gonna go to the mall. I know this is this video says thrift store hunting, but it'll be Blu-ray hunting in general. We're gonna check out the mall. Maybe just check out some of records, see if there's anything on clearance. But uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys later. You got anything to say? Shmoo shmoo. Oh yeah, if you're enjoying the content so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. 
All right, we're here at the Walmart alley. Oh, I'm away from home. There's also a Sunrise Records. Here. So, are you looking for the Sunrise Records? Yeah, just a little check a room. Like five minutes, but yeah. Walmart, so nicely air conditioned Walmart. So, we're not getting smooth espresso bar. The entertainment section at Walmart. What do we got here? Oh, yeah, I keep forgetting the new uh, Jurassic Park movie came out. Downtown Abbey Lost City. Firestarter. I didn't know this was a remake. Of what? A Drew Braymore one, a film. Oh, yeah, the new Sonic movie came out. Sonic. You got the two movie collection. But then, oh wow, what the hell? I didn't know these were being released in Walmart. No, because it's Scream Fat. I guess so, if the Halloween films were released here. One last copy of Into the Multiverse for $32. Honestly, just watch it on Disney Plus. You get the. Uh, IMAX Enhance. Anything cool here? They still got a bunch of these. I remember everyone's like, oh, you better get them now or else. I think this is a new slipcover though. Oh, never mind. It just looked white when I saw it from the above. But yeah. Decent prices, 20 bucks, 25 bucks. Nothing. What is that? Oh my. That's pretty epic music for shots of beavers. But no, it's from... Yeah, see, I thought that music was coming from there. Uh, I should say. Oh, this is, uh... Spider-Man? No. No. But it comes... Oh, it's, uh... Yeah. The Walmart TVs. Do they sell OLEDs here? Anyways, I don't want to get copyright claimed. Look at... Oh my god, what is it? Is this, uh, that K-pop thing? Jeez. Spider-Man. That's not this is a spider key. YNG YG plus Korea, yeah. $83. Holy shit. And this is the standard edition. What is this? Uh floor. Proof. Oh, it's a uh, a booklet, anyways. It's gonna shit out of here. People still buy CDs from Walmart? Crazy. This is it. Anyways, let's go to the Sunrise Record. It's cool that they had Child's Play. But uh, that's not. I already got Child's Play. That's a cool package. I like that. Jedi Knight 2. Apparently, a lot of people that has the best uh, lightsaber mechanics. Yeah. Well, it's on PC. Skidaddy. Oh, baby. Sunrise Records. What's 50% off? Drinkware Alley. Drinkware. Wow. No 4Ks, no 4Ks. What is this? Crypto. I don't know this. Got all the seasons of uh, Supergirl. I don't know this thing is ending soon. My hair acting here. That's all the weeds watch, right?
right, Walmart number two. We're here because uh, they didn't have the, the exact thing that we needed, so. Let's see, and there's also a physical media section, so you never know what you might find. Hey. Here's the new release section, look at that. Look at all these. I guess no one wants them, eh? Shit. Probably two dollars more than the actual thing. The actual 4K, yeah. I wonder, and there's so many of them, holy shit. I guess because it's like, it's like a bad movie, right? What is this? This is a 4K? This is a 4K, the six movie collection. <clears throat> Sonic 2. Anything cool here? Uh, Doctor Strange. <coughs> Doctor Strange. This is a Black Friday pickup. Not even. Oh, Morbius. Morbius. But hey, they, they have they'd be stocked. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I don't really want to take up too much time because this is mainly a, a thrifting vlog. So boom. Let's see. They got anything cool here? They got those glow in the dark slips. Holy sh! This is all out of order. It's chaotic. I haven't seen these in a while. Akira's, Jurassic World. They added some new stuff. See, look, I want this so badly, but for one hundred eighty dollars, shit. They added new stuff. That's cool. Lord of the Rings. Hobbit. How is the Hobbit such so much cheaper than the? Because it wasn't that good. Yeah, but they're still the same budgets and all that stuff. Cool. I remember this is hard to get. No time to die. All right, we've seen everything. Let's go. All right, let's go. Trip store. Well, let's see if any. This has still been ransacked. The graveyard of. The digital code thief. Right here, you hold this one. Do you want to wait to take it off? No, let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's like 40 pounds. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Can you hold it for a second? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Done. But you're the strong boy. Yeah. Anyways, yeah. I was hoping they'd have. Oh, well. I wonder what that's for. Hopefully, that's a sign that means we're going to get some uh, Black Friday shipper stuff, but. Who knows? Got all these binders, Allie. Than 98 cents. Cheaper than the dollar store. What the hell? <coughs> oh yeah, because back to back to school uh, sales. Anyways, let's go. Let's go to the next thrift store. All right, I'm here at my local drugstore. It's basically like the Canadian Walgreens. They have a Blu-ray section. Look at this. Exterminator 2. That's a Shout Factory Blu-ray for six bucks. That's worth the. Uh, pick up just for the entry. It's Exterminator 2. What about Exterminator 1? <coughs> Selma. So yeah, that's... It's a funny find. But yeah, it's a... Ex Exterminator 2. No, is it John Cusack in this? Is it John Cusack? I don't know. Mario on Peebles is in this. Damn. Now we gotta hunt for uh, Exterminator 1. <laughs> Alright, we made it out of Shopper's Drug Mart. That's crazy. A boutique Blu ray at Shopper's Drug Mart. Exterminator 2. That is the sequel to the first Exterminator movie that is an uh, Arrow movie. So. Alright, now we're here at the local Goodwill. I uh, haven't been to this one in a few weeks. So hopefully, they got something new, something exciting. This place doesn't really have, it's a hit or miss, so hopefully it will be a hit today. Oh, oh my gosh, I see a lot of blue cases. I see a lot of blue cases, Allie. oh shit. Do we hit the mother load? Oh shit. Someone like, got rid of their entire collection. Can you get a thing, Allie? Sure. Silver Linings Playbook. Oh shit, Hateful Eight. Blood Diamond. I heard good things about the Locker. The Iron Lady, White, Green Hornet, Tarzan. The Day After Tomorrow. 
Argo. Yeah, I saw that. Very excited. Oh, it's Has it? Oh, really? Yeah, but there's some good ones Oh, thank you. <clears throat> a lot of good stuff there, eh? Tell you, there was, there was a better section before. Chest Bureau, Southpaw, Looper, Kill Bill, Watch. A lot of good stuff here today. Chronicle, the director's cut. Eh, I don't like Dayton Hunt. I heard like, this is his best movie, but I don't remember. And Joel Schumacher's. Grand Torino, Emperor. So three things already. Off to a decent start. So like I said, there was, this, there's been, there was better stuff here. But it's okay, we have a lot of shit. Fractured. Didn't I just get this? But this is with a slipcover. We got a bunch of stuff here into the store. Oh, what the fuck is this? Apollo 18? That's funny. Brick Mansion. This is the last one with Paul Walker. I'm gonna kill the Vine 2, Steve Jobs. Nightcrawler, that's good. November Man. Red Dawn, the remake. Robin Hood, Juno. To McFarlane, Million Dollar Baby. Huh. They got a sealed version What is that? Oh, Return of King Wild, that's cool. What? The Inglorious Bastards. Severn Blu-ray. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, apparently there used to, there was there was a lot more. So that was in. That's interesting. But there was more. The call is Lawrence Fishburne. Oh, look at this. Kevin Costner, Wider, Gene Hackman. Don't mind if I do. This is the first one? No, it's the Christmas one. Here. That's pretty cool. You got all these DVDs. That's cool. It's a sealed, a sealed cop. Oh, no, it's not sealed. It's not sealed. So it's a plastic on it. There you go, Fox. That's cool. All right, we're out of the Goodwill. Got a bunch of stuff, a lot of really good stuff. Got a boutique, a boutique Blu-ray for $3, a Severn Blu-ray. Got a few films that I wanted to check out. They didn't pull the trigger on, but for $3, I gotta pick that up, so. We have quite the uh, thrift haul. So, let's, we still got more stops on the way, so let's go. All right, next stop of the day, Mission Thrift Store. This really, this one, this uh, thrift store doesn't really bode us too well, but you never know. This used to be a, this used to be a Valley Village, right? And then they moved down. But yeah, so uh, I haven't really found anything cool here. So let's uh, hope and pray that it's been a few months. Might find some Blu-rays, might find some rare VHS, or some DVDs, who knows? Let's go and check. Wow, what the world is that? This place is, place is wild. Hopefully I got some cool stuff here. 
We'll get rid of their CD section and we'll CD stuff. Well, look at that. Eric Cannon Center, Sunday 20, 1999. Wow, that's cool. And it's signed by, is it? Is it from the Maple Leafs or something? That's cool. Little capture in time. Got all these plushies. The board games. I never just board games from thrift stores because they're always a few. Yeah, they're always missing some stuff. They had a signed uh, Maple Leafs thing. Really? Yeah. From the 90s. There are all these DVD players. I'm looking out for a 3D Blu-ray player because apparently those look really good. Apparently, I didn't know that. But do you need like a dedicated TV and glasses? How like how would you how could you perceive the 3D? For what? 3D Blu-ray. Yeah. Do you need the glasses the and a TV? Right? Yeah, because we saw one at Salvation Army for like 20 bucks. But like it didn't have the glasses, it was just literally just the box. Wow, look at that. Amazing Spider-Man little, like a makeup bag? What the fuck is that? Anyways, that's the toy section. Just unwanted toys. You'll, you'll always find a minion, maybe a Pokemon or a Mr. Potato Head here and there. Mr. Potato Head? Oh, well, as he calls him different now, right? Just Potato Head. Anyways, I see the media section right there. Family guy. We have some more Blu-rays here. Ironclad. The James and Brian Cox. Kate Mara. Mara. Paul Giamatti. How much are movies here? Blu-rays are 95 cents. Well, they they change their prices. They're cheaper now. Yeah. You think it's worth the random Paul Giamatti and Kate Mara? Heavy metal goes medieval. Fuck it. For 95 cents? Colin Firth, Ben Kingsley? Fuck it. For, for a dollar? Hell yeah, boy. See anything else cool here? No. They just have DVDs. And they have another section. Oh, I see a Blu-ray. Richard three, Richard the third. No, this is Richard three. Well, yeah. Well, it's implied that it's Richard the third, like Henry the Henry the fifth or fourth or whatever. Disney DVD collection. Baby Einstein. Mom's number one choice. Interesting. They tape all their DVDs. What's here? Mr. Bean. Mr. Bean. Seems to be the only stuff. Well, they had. What was the other? Uh, Pearl Jam. Arn. Stellan Skarsgård. And Twilight. What, are, what is with all these? See? They all have a. They all have like weird. a theme going on, yeah. But they have some like pretty notable actors like Stellan Skarsgård, Paul Giamatti, Colin Firth, Ben Kingsley. What the hell? For 98 cents. Oh wait, double discs are 195 and single. <laughs> that's one. Okay, I guess that's 98 cents. You see any other? Maybe they're on the other side too. No, they're just CDs. Oh, CDs. Other side. Not uh, true. True. Oh. Mm. Anything in here? Oh. I remember there used to be they used to hide some stuff here yeah it's just VHS's Black Beauty I remember those that's cool Orn Peace anyways I think we'll get these for three dollars a dollar a piece one dollar a piece alright we're out of the Mission Thrift Store we got, we got three things and these are like less than a dollar each so that's pretty cool. These are all movies I've never seen before with some pretty big actors. So I'm, I'm very uh, 
very interested in checking these out. Some of these sound very fake as shit. Jonathan English? I don't know. But these are all like medieval, uh, like type movies. So next we're gonna check out the Talizi all the way over there. So let's go. All right, next we're going to Talizi. That's nothing there. But yeah, some, yeah, blue, some videos on blue league. But Talizi, we haven't been to this one in a while. These have decent prices. It range from like four ninety nine to five ninety nine. So hopefully we can find something cool. All right, Talizi, Talizi. Talitzi? Yeah, Talitzi. Anyways, uh, hopefully we can find something cool. Because of Blu-ray. And it's a thrift store, so. We've been doing, oh, it's autumn. Oh, jeez. It's not it's super automatic. automatic. Somewhat. Somewhat automatic? Yeah. And they color coordinated the hats. Drug Mart. Anyways. Obviously you gotta check out the toy section first. Of course. Let's keep an eye on the phone. Schmuzzle puzzle. I like seeing I like seeing these like old uh, what's it called board games because it kind of encapsulates the time period. Really cool. Like with the fonts and the images and the posters. Is this a nightwing? What is this? A nightwing. Is that a grill? The Batman. The Batman oh I need to I wanna watch that series. Oh shit. Logic back click. That's cool. It's computer. What years is this from? But yeah. Hey, also, look. by the way, we're not resellers. We just like looking at cool stuff. Yeah. I know a lot of people like to look around these things like, oh, that's a, that's an original action figure from 1922. That's be worth it on eBay. I was like, not really. Yeah, we just keep them. We've been doing this ever since we were kids, so. Yeah, see, everywhere you go, you find these freaking, um, what's it called? Looney Tunes, not Looney Tunes, Space Jam. Space Jam 2, uh, Sing 2. So what am I saying? Space Jam 2, uh, Happy Meal stuff. Yes, many Happy Meal stuff as well. That's uh, a fake phone that you get from Dollarama. How much you selling that for? Three dollars? Holy fuck. They got some uh, DC. What are these plushies? Little beanie baby things? That's cool. Yeah, mostly. See anything cool? I found this. These little DC Superman and Flash beanie babies. For people who care about those things. But yeah, we need to go to the all the way to the books and entertainment section. The guy. Dude, what is this? Was this like a custom, I think it was a custom made thing. Really? Yeah. Nathan. Nathan three. Yeah, yeah I think maybe someone got us for a, a girlfriend got for them or something. It's too traumatic. But yeah, Nathan. <laughs> so weird, I didn't know they made these things. I am stuffed animal. I am a stuffed animal. Okay, yeah, it's uh, someone custom made this. Maybe as a gift or something for a friend. Maybe they passed away or maybe they broke up. Who knows? But yeah. Really Those do not look like balloons. Those look like used condoms. Anyways, let's go to the media section, Allie. The media section. Boom. Steven Seagal is a dangerous man. Lord of the Rings. Enchanted. 27 dresses. What are these DVDs? This is so you can bring it over to your friend's house. Watch little, Action Heroes, High Five. We love PlayStation 2 sports games. Let's go to the real, real section. DVDs. A lot of DVDs. Is that ladies thing still there? Oh, some people actually bought those. We just got rid of it. Maybe. No, they don't get rid of anything. No. Where the Blu rays usually kept? Some of them are kept here. Expendables. A thin case. That's my boy. Monster High. This looks like a bust. Yeah. A complete bust alley. 
Nothing cool here. Nope. Uh, this is the worst one we've been to so far. Even the other thrift store is better. Yeah. Uh, they got a Blu-ray of New Moon. Oh shit. They got a Sisterhood of the Traveling Pants 2? Why would they make a sequel to that? Anyways. Yeah, no other Blu-rays. I see. I see a sealed something. Bowflex Fitness VHS sealed. I guess they never used the Bowflex. Oh, I thought those are Sopranos. This is what the, uh, what's it called? Those MVD things copy. The MVD Vestron was like, all about my mother. Academy Award. Tupi and Binu. Marina? Yeah, is that, is that a Canadian exclusive or do you yeah. think people in. Yeah, yeah. Wow, what is this? Like maybe a tape? What is this? Venus Williams. Oh shit. I thought it was sealed. Casablanca VHS. Hard case. But yeah, nothing here. This one was a bust. Barely any Blu rays. Two Blu rays. They're all trash. Blind side. <sighs> Anyways, let's get out of here. Right now we're at the Salvation Army. I got a mask because of all the dust and the debris of uh, inhaling thrift store air is not very healthy for me. I'm getting a little. <laughs> so thankfully, we able to get a mask. So yeah, Salvation Army. This one I don't have high hopes for, but uh, you know, it's uh, it's always nice to find something new. And this is the, the cheapest, no tax, no sales tax, and it's the cheapest price out of all of them, so. No, Goodwill is the price, but this, is, that's, this has no HSD. <coughs> Let's go. They have this little rack here. We're going to... Interesting. We're at the media section. What the heck is this? What is it? It's a different language of... Uh, what is it? What language is that? Lord of the Rings. What does it look like? Swedish? Oh. There's a desk here. But yeah, any Blu-rays? I don't think I'll be able to find any blue rays here. A PS3 game. Damn, this is. We got an HD DVD of 300. Yeah. They got, hey, they found the Silver Lines playbook. It's the guy who molested his uh, uh, niece. Swedish? Swedish? Ah, see, I was right. See, I, I can tell. Anything, anything good here? Any Blu-ray? Breaking my hopes up. Mike Dog Production. Shakedown. Was it hip hop dancing? Break dancing? What DVDs? I know it's Japanese. Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, heat. The wrong oh, wow, heat. Wow, look at this. Ooh. Holographic CD. Holographic. That's crazy. It's probably expensive as shit when it was first released. Uh, you don't think so? Well, I guess because. This is Japanese. They bring it out. They don't import it. <sighs> Any other Blu rays here? Hey, there's a green DVD. There's a, what's it called? A Swedish, um, what is it, what's this movie called again? Um, Goonies. I don't know why that slipped my mind. This looks very bootleggy. Great Gatsby on Blu-ray. What in the world is this? Buzz and Poppy. It's also the Shy Super Spy. A lot of bootleggy, a lot of bootleg stuff here. <laughs> I bleed black. 
Seven on the Line Productions presents. Oh, it's a uh, disc golf. Southland Tales. Used four ninety nine. Well, it's not four ninety nine, but that's how much the guy bought it for. But it doesn't seem like. Seems like that was the only blue right there. I know there's a few things over here. Any Blu ray? No. Fight Night 2004. Is this from the Avengers? No. So, sports games? Even though I like boxing games, because those are, those are usually the better of the sports games, simulation fighting games, but I already have the good ones. Any Blu rays here? Paul Addy's DVDs. Oh, well, there's one Blu-ray. Juno. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, it's a uh, hip hop. One of those old school. No, it's a movie. Is it? Yeah. Pure energy. You wanna watch it? No. What the hell? Who doesn't even play? <laughs> But yeah, as I expected. I'm Nothing. Why? What the hell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Where was it? The Criterion Collection Alley? Of Chasing Amy. Let me get this little. Well. Yeah, this? Criterion. Every time I see a Criterion, I pick it up. Gladiator. Would you say that was the best movie of the year I was born? Gladiator. And the DVD trilogy. Century Flat. 100 years of aviation. But yeah, besides that, that's pretty much, pretty much everything. Two DVDs, that's funny. That is very funny. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go. All right, last stop of the day, the Value Village. And hopefully they have some good stuff there because usually this place has some good stuff. It's just that it's usually overpriced, but uh, who knows, there's also, there's also the auction right next door, so the journey continues. In the VHS section. Oh, it's like connected like that. That's cool. Look at that. Uh, what if some asshole just like took one and not the entire thing? Oh, I see the Blu-rays on the other side. Let's check that out. Huh. Do I see anything? No, 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 no. Maybe. Here you go, I just got that. I didn't just get that. Yeah, no, nothing. That's like I didn't choose anything. What about Justice League Lego? Justice League Lego? Look at You guys thought we were over. But guess what? There's a pawn shop here that has uh, $5 Blu-rays. If you buy five, you get one free. So technically $4 Blu-rays. Oh, and there's a thing in my shoe. But yeah, so let's... Hope we can find something new. Cause we, we haven't been here in, a, in a, like a few months, right? Like a month or so. So hopefully there's something new. Oh. Do I have this one? You have no idea. Which one is it? Uh, Night Before Christmas. No, I don't think you have that. No? No. Yeah. Oh, this one. Fantastic Four from when I was a kid. And this pops out.
All right, now we're at the ReStore. This is like a, kind of like a, would you classify this as a thrift store? A secondhand store, kind of like one of those things. But they have a little media section where they have $1 Blu-rays. And I've actually found a, a really good bunch of things. So, you know, hopefully we find something cool here today, right? Perhaps. Perhaps. Let's check it out. They even have CDs too, so boom. All right, here's the physical media section. Oh, wow, well, yeah. Hey, it's on Five bucks for PSP game. Requiem for a Dream. Corpse Bride was the movie I got last time. I was trying to think of the game, of the movie. Oh, I Wild Africa. The Beatles rock band, scary movie. Legs. Let's see for 14. Well, there's one Blu ray. Let's see. It is The Young People? Huh. It's sealed with a slipcover. Canal Plus Sky, HBO. It's a dollar. Might pick it up just like I like Jude Law, so it looks interesting. But that is basically everything here. Smack, yeah, might as well one dollar. Oh, they also have uh, here. Hold this. Thank you. They also have Tangled on Blu-ray. Last time I went, last time I came here. See? CDs, DVDs, one dollar. Or as marked. Is it marked anywhere that says otherwise? No, no, the back? So I... Oh, like, so it's one dollar. Yeah, it's like a exclusive streaming thing, like our Hulu, whatever, or something like that. One of them shin, shin digs. But yeah. That is basically everything they got here. They got some... Oh, it's Michael Mann. Or not Michael Mann, sorry. Whatever his name is. Freddie Mercury? I'm gonna fuck my thing up. But yeah, that's basically all. They got punked on DVD. That's weird. Besides that, that's it. Jude Law Blu ray. It's a thick case. Is this a series? Oh, this is a series. I don't know if I want this. I don't think I'll... What? Yeah, I probably won't watch it. But yeah. Two dollars. Yeah, Dudley Lock. Are those locks? Well, those are locks. For eight bucks, that's pretty good. Anyways. So that's where it was a dead. Let's get out of here. Wow, holy shit, I had no expectation. You know, coming into this hunting video, I thought I was gonna be like, eh, I'll pick up a few things. You know, I haven't really been striking out, or I have been striking out when it comes to uh, thrifting videos because I'd go in there, I'd go to a Goodwill, and I'd find nothing. And uh, thankfully, I came during a good day because there was a ton of stuff. Now, I'm not gonna go in order of what everything I got because I would you know, I have to reorganize everything. But uh, yeah, so again, uh, if you'd stayed to the end of the video, I want to thank you all so much for taking the time to actually watch this video. And um, I will uh, gift you something for your, uh, for your viewership. Here is the uh, 4K code to backdraft on 4K Blu-ray. This is the digital code here. I, I, what the fuck? So if you guys are a fan of backdraft, let me know if you get that message me or comment in the description if you got it let's do another one let's do let's do another one because i'm feeling cheeky i have here actually um let me find one that i've already opened because i don't want to or let's see what would be cool i want to give you guys a digital code um all right here's one scream i literally haven't even opened it yet so we're gonna open it up I know a lot of people are fans of Scream. I know a lot of horror fans are, you know, in my viewership. So, literally, literally opening the seal. 
right now and boom here you guys go scream 4k digital code and boom so yeah thank you so much i appreciate all of you sticking around so that was my little uh gesture to you guys and uh also a bit of a kind of a wink wink nudge nudge bribe to you know stick around to 8 p.m uh we'll be going live over at 4k d race channel for the movie collection battle and vote for me because i will because there's big stakes on the line money's on the line everything like that anyways let's get into the pickups of the day uh starting off with hurt locker um i really don't like modern day um uh, what's it called Monday war films because it is very propaganda feeling you know kind of setting the lights of you know Arab people and kind of those those group of people to be more demonized than they actually are but um what who directed this movie Catherine Bigelow directed this movie and I haven't seen any other of her movies besides um Point Break and I loved Point Break so I'm excited to get into this and it's a pretty big cast you got some, uh, you got some, you got Hawkeye, and you got, uh, what's it called? You got a bunch of MCU people in this movie. A uh, huge list of cast, uh, Guy Pierce is in this, David Morris, Ralph Fiennes, uh, Brian Greg, Grady, I have no idea, Anthony Mackie, Jeremy Renner, Reiner, Renner, Jeremy Renner. Uh, so huge cast. I've heard a lot of really good things about this, so I thought I might as well pick it up on Blu-ray. I think there's a 4K of that, I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, so for three dollars, you can't really go wrong with that. Next, I got is Southpaw uh, for three bucks. Can't really go wrong. Jake Gyllenhaal, Forrest Whitaker, and Rachel McAdams. I haven't seen this movie yet. I heard a lot of really good things about it, and I remember when it came out, I wanted to watch it, and I just never got the chance to. So for three bucks, uh, I thought I'd pick it up. Now, is this a um, Blu-ray? No, I mean, is this a? You know, it's an E1, so it's not a Fox. So hopefully this works. E1 Films this code so boom southpaw on blu-ray jake gyllenhaal i've been loving some jake gyllenhaal so yeah next i got is the hateful eight i think this is the this is i've collected now all of the uh quentin tarantino films on uh, physical media I th yeah i think so i think i have every quentin tarantino film on on physical media uh <clears throat> i was kind of holding out for this to be on 4k because this is like one of my favorite quentin tarantino films it's just full of the vibes are immaculate i love winter time movies filmed in the winter filmed on actual film so that's why i was really hoping at holding out for a 4k but you know i've been hearing these past few quentin tarantino 4ks haven't really been that well received so uh i thought i might as well pull the trigger on this and it comes with a digital code or a digital copy oh shit so hopefully that works and that gives me a 4k stream who knows i have no idea but Hateful Eight on Blu-ray, uh, very excited to rewatch this. I haven't seen this since I watched it in this theater. And is this, I know there's an extended cut. Uh, I don't think this is the extended cut, but um, yeah, watch it on iTunes. So hopefully that gives me um, a 4K stream and uh, hopefully I can redeem some, uh, what's it called? Some um, bonus features. I also got, this is another, this is a blind buy. I got this at the thrift store at the pawn shop and that is a most wanted man starring philip seymour hoffman rachel mcadams william defoe and robin wright huge cast uh, uh directed by who directed this someone directed this a person directed this anthony anton Cor corbjin no i don't fucking know the, the, the letters are so small uh but you know this is an all-star cast i'm excited to watch this i love me some philip seymour hoffman i love me some rachel mcadams and i love me some william defoe so this can't go wrong right Hopefully. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't read any uh, reviews for this. So, you know, the best way to watch a movie is to go in completely blind. This is a dirty ass case. So I'm going to wash my hands after this. But yeah, a most wanted man. Then I got Fracture. This has been on my playlist or watch list for a very long time. Again, love me some Anthony Hopkins. Love me some Ryan Gosling. Uh, I haven't heard anything about this film. I put this on my watch list on uh on prime video uh this wasn't 5.99 i got the ten dollar discount so i did get this percentage off i think it was four something but uh anthony hopkins ryan gosling fracture i saw it the other i saw it at a goodwill uh with a slip cover but the slip cover was all dingy and worn out and it looked like it was in a very someone was smoking like literally it looked, it looked like someone was smoking drags a cigarette right directly on the slip cover so no love lost there and this is sealed well not really it's been repackaged so but who knows 
Fracture. I've heard a lot of good things about it. Uh, and then I went to uh, Value Village, got The Fly, David Cronenberg's The Fly. I haven't seen the movie in a very long time, and I am excited to get into this. You know, one of, uh, um, oh, geez. Little old school, uh, what's it called? Blu-ray disclaimer came out. There's more inserts on there. Do, do you guys keep your inserts? Uh, I feel like they're like, they kind of annoy me. Every time I open this, I have to see these inserts. But they are very, extremely nostalgic for me. Uh, you know, buying Blu-rays when I was a little kid. You know, having these things, so it looks very nice. But David Cronenberg's The Fly. I haven't seen the movie in a very long time. You can't really go wrong with David Cronenberg, Gina Davis, and Jeff Goldblum. So, boom. David Cronenberg's The Fly. Canadian filmmaker. So, boom. Next is debatably the best Pixar movie, in my opinion. I love the social commentary. It's very cute. Uh, the animation style is very nice. The storytelling is great. The writing is great. And that is Wally on Blu-ray. Uh, I heard the 4K isn't that good uh, or it's very subpar. So I decided to pick up the Blu-ray for $4. Can't go wrong with Wally. I know, I know. Oh, what would you do? It's just so, it's on Disney Plus. Well, I, I want to add more collection, add more to the collection for $4. You can't really go wrong with that. Movie Roars participating title. So Wally from the creator of Finding Nemo and Cars. I wouldn't, I wouldn't you know, uh, flex cars, but you know, it comes with two Blu-rays of a feature film Blu-ray and a bonus features Blu-ray. So that would be very interesting to check out. So yeah, Wally, one of my favorite Disney Pixar films of all time. Next, I got uh, Moneyball on Blu-ray. Now I'm pretty sure there's a 4K out there and I think there's a 4K stream on Netflix, but you know, uh, I really enjoyed this movie. I, I don't like, um, what's it called? I don't like baseball whatsoever. But if you love films of just, you know, really, really good performances, this is up there. Philip Seymour Hoffman, Jonah Hill, Brad Pitt. I mean, you can't go wrong with that all-star cast. So I'm very excited to rewatch this on Blu-ray. Uh, exclusive to Blu-ray, Drafting the Team, Adapting Moneyball, and MLB 2012. The show, preview trailer, BD Live enabled. Ah, oh, BD Live. What a throwback. But yeah, Blu-ray DVD combo pack. Sony tablet. All our innovations folded into one. Wow. So boom. And it actually has decent, decent disc artwork. Nothing too special, but they have that like, uh, not kiosk, but those big lights that say the, the score and everything. And it says Moneyball. So that's really cool. So boom, Moneyball on Blu-ray. And then I got a DVD. This is the only DVD pickup of the day, and that is the Criterion Collection of Chasing Amy. I totally forgot that a Kevin Smith movie is in the Criterion Collection. So I'm excited to uh, get into this. This is one of the only Kevin Smith movies I haven't seen yet. So I need to get onto that. I know there's a Blu-ray of it out there, but dude, Criterion DVD for $2. Can't really go wrong with that. Next is another Goodwill pickup, and that is Wyatt Earp. Uh, Dude, the cast, Dennis Quaid, Kevin Costner, and Gene Hackman, uh, fantastic. There is a History Buffs video on that, so I just love History Buffs, and I love Western films, and this has an all-star cast. Uh, I don't really know much about the director. I'll probably botch his name, and, you know, he probably is probably a prolific director. I just don't, I don't really know names when it comes to, you know, uh, directors, but... You know, I'm really excited to get into this. I've heard really good things about this. Wyatt Earp, the story of Sheriff Wyatt Earp. So uh, excited to get into that. Uh, on Blu-ray for, for $3, you can't, you can't really go wrong with that. So boom, Wyatt Earp. Next is Zero Dark Thirty. Um, I have a huge crush on Jessica Chastain. And this has a great cast. Like, holy shit. You got uh, Jason Clark, Joel Edgerton, Jessica Chastain. Uh, and it's another Catherine Bigelow film uh, about the, the killing of Osama bin Laden. And, um, you know, it takes place maybe half an hour from where my, where my, where, uh, my people are from. So, <laughs> so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued to see what it is. Again, another Catherine Bigelow um, Pakistani Middle East uh, war film. I'm, I'm intrigued to see, you know, how these things are portrayed. I've heard a lot of really good things about this. I think I won a bunch of, well, yeah five academy awards nominations including best picture so i'm excited to get into that um is this a fox movie is it e1 i can't I don't know these are all canadians i can't tell 
because usually it'll be like uh, Alliance or Alliance E1. Those kind of things are all Canadian distribution, so I can't tell if it's like a like a Universal or some shit like that. But Zero Dark Thirty, uh, I don't think there's a 4K out there, but uh, I'm excited to get into this. Heard a lot of really good things about it. Uh, I just you know kind of steered away from it because I just really don't care for modern day war films. But you know if there's really there's great actors in it. Uh, the performances, I'm guessing, will be fantastic, and it's an intriguing story, you know, the, the killing of Osama Bin Laden, so boom, Zero Dark Thirty. Next, I got a movie that I haven't seen in such a long time, because it is, it's kind of sad, it's pretty sad, and that is, but it's a fantastic film, and that is Gran Torino, another, you know, you know, these Blu-rays, the, these cases are all messed up, but it's okay, but yeah, Gran Torino, fantastic film, uh, I think one of the last really good is this after yeah because this, this is after million dollar baby so one of the last really good Clint Eastwood films because I know he's been making new films recently like the mule and um that new one it, it didn't really pan out they're really boring uh, I was very slow uh you know Clint Eastwood is, is getting less he's getting more sad watching uh, this extremely old Qu uh, Quentin Tarantino Clint Eastwood uh, but you know his his directing films are fantastic. But you know when he acts in his movies nowadays, it gets a bit too much. He's a bit too old nowadays for things for him to have like a love interest and like that. But this is a fantastic movie. Uh, you know it tackles things like race relation. Uh, fucking Clint Eastwood is a badass in this film, even though he's he's what he's in his early seventies, I think late sixties in this film. This is from two thousand eight. But it's still, you know, he gives a great performance, you know, um, you know, this is the, from the, get off my lawn. So, uh, I'm excited to get into this Grand Torino, and this is how you do a Canadian Blu-ray. Grand Torino, French version included. Grand Torino, French version included. They don't put Grand Torino, and then, I guess maybe, is Grand Torino a French kind of word? I don't know. But Clint Eastwood and Grand Torino, uh, uh, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm excited to get back into this, because it is a, it is, it is a, uh, I'm not going to spoil anything, you know, but it is a, you know, it's a film, okay? It, it, it takes a lot out of you. A lot of Clint Eastwood films are, they take a lot out of you. They're not easy watching films. Next is a movie that I got from the pawn shop, and that is The Waterboy. Uh, I really, I'm not the biggest fan of comedy films. I think they're kind of disposable media, but, you know, because comedy is subjective, uh, you know, I guess... If I'm gonna want to laugh at something, I'll watch stand-up comedy. I don't really care too much about um, comedy films. Like I like action comedies sometimes, you know, things like Deadpool, things like The Weapon, Buddy Cop films. I'm into. Uh, you know, but when it comes to like just straight-up comedy films, I don't know. But you know, I haven't seen this movie in such a long time, uh, and you know, I just needed to add more to my comedy section. Fantastic cast. You got here um, Adam Sandler, Kathy Bates fantastic i think the big show is in this so that should be very uh very funny so yeah the water boy high quality h2o um and this may be offensive nowadays but i mean i, just, I remember liking it when i was a kid so who knows I, don't, I haven't seen it since i was like 10 years old so hopefully maybe it doesn't maybe it does hold up but i'm excited to get back into this the water boy i haven't seen this blu-ray anywhere so i don't know if it, i don't think it's rare but uh it has a nice it has a nice disc art looks 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 interesting and then there's a back there's back oh there's back artwork on it so yeah um i'm excited to get into this adam sandler in the water boy i think this is an american blu-ray no touchstone touchstone is disney property right but anyways yeah the water boy then oh there we go then another pickup from Goodwill, and this is a Severin Blu-ray. Uh, this is the movie that inspired the Inglorious Bastards, Quentin Tarantino film, and this is The Inglorious Bastards. I don't know anything about this, uh, but you know, uh, Severin Boutique Blu-ray uh, for three dollars, you can't really pass up on that. Uh, I think the same font, the font is the same. No cool inserts or anything like that, but I am very intrigued into seeing what this film is about. The Inglorious Bastards. Next is another movie that I got from the pawn shop, and that is Olympus Has Fallen. Uh, I heard really bad things about the 4K transfer, and I've been meaning to watch this because I remember watching this in theaters, this Antoine Fuqua film. And I'm like, wow, this is actually a genuinely, like, decent film. Like, because I, I, I think they there was another movie, uh, uh, Channing, a Channing Tatum film, that came out like three months or three weeks after this film 
that literally has the exact same premise. I forgot what it's called. I think that and Jamie, it was Jamie Foxx and Channing Tatum. And I remember it being really shitty and like just the, all the things, but you know, I like Antoine Fuqua. So uh, Olympus has fallen with the slip cover, holographic embossing on it. You can't really go wrong with that. No French on it, well, a little bit of French on the, on the bottom, but Olympus has fallen. VVS Films, and it has that kind of, what's it called, holographic throughout the entire slipcover. So that is very cool. Olympus has fallen. Uh, I don't really care too much about the blue border, but this looks really cool. It is a DVD and Blu-ray combo pack. So I'm very excited to get into this film. Again, I haven't seen this in the theaters, so boom, Olympus has fallen. Another film that I got with the slip cover is The Nightmare Before Christmas. You know, I'm just increasing some more uh, animation, Disney animation on Blu-ray. I don't really care too much if it comes out in 4K because uh, I don't really love these movies, but you know, they're, 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 they're a fun watch. And I, even though I know it's on Disney Plus, you can't really go wrong with a nice looking slip cover, embossing, uh, you know, uh, holographic. Uh, it says it's a collector's edition, so I don't know. You add collector's editions, uh, I, don't, I know it's not rare, but uh, it just it looks nice, uh, and I, I really enjoyed this film. And is, would you say, is this more of a Halloween film, because it has a spooky vibe to it, or is it a Christmas film? So, hmm, now that is a thing to ponder, but it comes with a insert that is also holographic, so that's cool. Clipper case, which is the bane of my existence, but um, it has a digital copy, which... I mean, go ahead if you want to try to redeem it. I highly doubt that it's going to work. Oh yeah, you need to fucking, you need to put in this, you need to put in the digital copy DVD and then I hate that so much. And this is a blue, fucking, this is a, how old is a Blu-ray? 2000 and something, probably 2009 or something. But this is a short film, 76 minutes long. So uh, for, for $4, you can't really go wrong with that. So yeah, yeah, 2009. Activation code expires 2009. So boom, the Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm excited to get back into this. I know a lot of people aren't really, you know, vibing with Tim Burton anymore, but um, you know, he has a very unique style. And I know technically he didn't direct this. I think someone else directed this film, like who had the helm of the stop motion. Lots. I think so. That's what I've read. Uh, I think he, they just put his name on it because maybe he, he made the screenplay or something. I have no idea. But uh, yeah, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, next is a, uh, a movie I haven't seen yet, but it has a lenticular slipcover and it's another Tim Burton film and that is Johnny Depp in Dark Shadows. I remember hearing decent things about this. I could be wrong, but you know, more fun movies to watch during... Uh, Halloween time, you know, we're, we're, we're almost in September. One month over is October, so I'm excited to get into that. But Dark Shadow on Blu-ray with the lenticular slip. Uh, it has that Blu-ray bonus DVD digital copy thing, which is the bane of my existence because I'm going to have to put Goo Gone on this slip cover. But it's sealed, so I'm excited to, you know, open that seal up. And it is a Warner Brothers film, so it's not a Disney film. So that's also why I picked it up because you know I kind of tempt I come I kind of like like stay away from Disney movies sometimes you know because uh, you can most likely stream it on a higher quality but you know for films that I really like and for films that I just want in my collection because at the end of the day that's why that's what we get into this business the business because uh, we enjoy the actual physical collecting so but uh, yeah Dark Shadows on Blu-ray with a nice little lenticular slip. Next is a movie that I got from the drugstore, and it is a Shout Factory release, and that is Exterminate The Exterminator 2. Uh, ex uh, see, oh, no, just Exterminator 2, a sequel to Exterminator. Uh, uh, I, I researched it, and the first Exterminator movie is an Arrow video release, so that is interesting, but I'm excited to get into this. Mario Von P uh, the first, the fiery sequel also stars Mario Von Peebles, uh, known for New Jack City, Frankie Nisa, known for Banshee, and Deborah Geffner, known for all that jazz. I like all those movies, so should be excited. I have no idea what this movie entails. I haven't seen the first one, so I'm gonna have to see that first one movie, that first movie to get some context. But uh, Exterminator 2, uh, the Exterminator is back and he's burning with vengeance. So boom, for $7, Shout Factory Blu-ray, you can't really go wrong with that. 
Next is another pickup I got from the pawn shop, and that is the collector's edition of Sid and Nancy. Um, I've been recently getting into the Sex Pistols, and I watched the documentary on um, on Sid Vicious's life, and it was very interesting. So I wanted to check out this uh, movie because it's an Alex Cox films, and it's also starring Gary Oldman and Chloe Webb, both fantastic actors. So I'm excited to get into this. I remember seeing the uh, was it Criteria? I remember like a boutique label released this. And I remember it, being, it was pretty expensive, so I passed up on this. But for, for $4, for, I don't know why it's called a, a collector's edition. Does it come with extra bonus features, like something new, interesting? But it's a 2011 Blu-ray from 1980, oh, 1986. Such so interesting. I really like the disc art on that, just the, the, the British flag. So yeah, Sid and Nancy. Uh, I haven't heard too much about it, but you know, just the cavalcade, the cast, the director and uh, just this the subject material is very fascinating so I want to get into this and I heard I heard pretty decent things you know I know Disney recently did like a mini series and you know a lot of the uh, band members or mainly just the lead vocalist was like fuck this you know they never came to me even though you know it has a pretty big director behind it it's just they never went up to um, the vocalist and like hey man you know even though you know most of the stories about you uh, and he's like, fuck off. So, Sid and Nancy on Blu-ray. Next are the, the last three pickups that I got from the Mission Thrift Store, which I usually thought, I thought they were only open on weekends, but apparently not. And that is the Ironclad by Jonathan English, which sounds fake. Johnny English, that's a like parody movie. But, uh, you know, James Purefoy, which is probably the main character, and Brian Cox, which are probably... Brian Cox and Derek and Jacoby, who are probably the old main characters, and then Kate Mar Mara and Paul Giamatti. Like, what the fuck? Paul Giamatti? Uh, this looks interesting. Uh, I have known nothing about this film. A Lions con content film. 18A, uh, you know, it says heavy metal meets goes medieval. I love medieval films and I love heavy metal music, so you can't really go wrong with that. Uh, this. How long is this film? Does it say how long this film is? I have no idea. Two hours. You know, it was only a two hour film, so I can't imagine how much it would get into that. But Ironclad. This sounds very interesting. A super blind buy, which I've known nothing about. So, you know, and that's how sometimes you discover, you know, gems or some just fun movies that, you know, you turn off your brain and watch it. Just the year is 1215 and England's on the brink of a bloody civil war. The Mag Magna Carta landmark contract between the king and his subjects upholds the right of people of England and promises to bestow peace on the kingdom blah blah blah, blah. whatever it's it's a medieval film uh with Paul Giamatti and Kate Mara uh so it'll be very interesting to see how that you know entails then another movie um which stars Colin Firth, Ben Kingsley and Ashwarya Ray so this sounds more uh intriguing and more potential because you actually have really good actors who our guests are the main characters so and this is by Doug Leifler. This is The Last Legion. So this is another movie that I know nothing about. Uh, a spellbinding action epic, The Last Legion reveals the fall of Rome. Okay, a Roman film. Uh, as invading hordes besiege the rumbling Roman Empire, a daring General Colin Firth joined uh, by a powerful wizard, Ben Kingsley, and a master warrior, Aishwarya Ray attempts to lead the last legion of faithful soldiers to victory. So you got an Englishman, uh, a half English, half Indian, and you have an Indian playing Italians? Rome Rome is in Italy, right? So that would be very interesting to watch, but uh, fight scene choreography, deleted scenes from directors, sketchbook, a story to film comparison, making the last legion, you got commentary track. So this has a, a decent amount of bonus features and it seems interesting. Uh, and you know, I, I love, love me some Colin Firth and Ben Kingsley. So that'll be very interesting to see. And then lastly, I got this movie called Arn, the Knight Templar, starring Joachim Nauterkvist, uh, Sophia Helen, Stellan Skarsgård, I know, Simon Callow, Vincent Perez, and B.B. Anderson, holy fuck. I didn't read that last name, B.B. Anderson, who, if you guys don't know, she's like a mainstay in a lot of Ingmar Bergman films. So now I am extremely intrigued in this film. I love me some B.B. Anderson, and I love me some Stellan Skarsgård, so that will be 
very very even though uh, obviously the main character is Joaquim Natarkvist uh but besides that I'm, is this a Swedish film I have no idea you got a bunch of Swedish actors and it's about the Crusades I'm guessing because you got a knight wearing the Templar kind of thing so Arn the last the, the Knight Templar so boom those were all of the pickups uh a shit ton of blu-rays and a dvd no 4ks because i couldn't find 4ks and i wasn't i was kind of just mainly trying to go out for cheap blu-rays but if you're into this video again i want to thank you all for staying this late into the video that this is i think this is at least an hour long thrifting video so i hope you guys enjoy that and please make sure to leave a like and subscribe because you know i put a lot of effort into these videos and it's literally free for you to just to kick that click that like button because you know it gets it gets the video out there um but yeah so if you enjoyed this video want to see more videos i have a thrifting uh kind of a playlist tab over here um but yeah, if you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more, click the channel down below. Watch all the movies, watch all the videos I have. I have Blu-ray hunting videos, Blu-ray reviews, 4K reviews, comparison videos, unboxings, mail days, NECA review figures, all those kind of things. And I'm also Canadian, so that's the big difference between me and everyone else who does this thing. It's a little twist on there. So if you enjoyed that and if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, and yeah, so thank you so much to the I Have Been Mitch from the Michael Plus YouTube channel. Please have yourself a good day, night, evening, afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Please stay safe and God bless. So again, thanks so much. Again, like, subscribe, all that YouTube jazz. And yeah, so see you guys later. Peace out, guys. Long live physical media. Cheers.